So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And today we're going to be doing Moon in the 6th house for Gemini Ascendant people. And what happens when Moon is in the 6th house in Scorpio. While it's ruling the 2nd house for Gemini Ascendant person. Because now it's different from just sign and house. Now we're combining the two together. And for Gemini's, Moon rules the second house of family, wealth, speech, food, lineage. So it kind of has a different dynamic. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this Moon, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details, for that, check out the link here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, astrology, conjunction, aspects, and Mahadashas at the speed of light, including all my consultations here. And a link to my academy, Magavedic Astrology Academy here, where I'm currently showing divisional charts including the mega wealth chart and then we're going to go into the yogas so remember you can join the school anytime but anyway let's get started with this particular series so the first thing that you will notice with this particular mood is constant fights and battles in marriage and with the family in a way family becomes your enemy and you become the enemy of the family but naturally, you attract people in your life to settle with whom you will eventually have constant bickering and fighting. No matter what, silly fights, stupid fights, they will occur. One thing we see that this person can get very possessive and jealous about their possession through the family. Their possession in general. And this is the person, especially in their young youth, can be part of a wrong crowd. Actually, they are part of a wrong crowd. They have friends who are hoodlums. They have friends who are maybe not interested in study, more interested in just like, you know, carousing. Uh, but one thing we also see is that this person tends to always lose two romances in life. Two romances before they find the right person. At the same time, there is a good chance that such a person will seduce a third party spouse at work. So if they're at their job, in their daily work, they may have some sort of an affair with uh, somebody from, uh, you know, some, somebody who's either in a relationship or uh, is married. And also there's always the mental tension that the person deals with always has to do with debt. Debt, competition, enemies. That's who they deal with. But one great thing is this about this moon. No matter what situation this person is in, they know how to get out of it in a very clever manner. They know how to negotiate themselves out of any issue with any enemy. And especially if this moon receives the aspect of Mars or is with Mars, they'll be undefeated in combat. They'll be actually excellent fighters and athletes. Because Mars rules the sign of Scorpio along with Ketu. But especially with Mars, they become confident with Ketu. Like let's say if the core ruler Ketu was with the uh, moon, then such a person can actually lose their mind in anger and literally cut somebody off. But the main thing is that the karma that this person incurs, okay, is that they're born in a family or amongst people who were their enemies in past life. For example, in your previous life, you robbed and killed a family. Or you are robbed and killed four different people, four men, okay? In this life, all those four are born as your mother, father, sibling, and then you're like the fifth one. And from there, you naturally feel 
something is wrong. I'm, I, I feel like I don't belong in this family. I feel like I don't, <laughs> what is this? Why is it they're always trying to get me? And because of this position shows family had a lot of karmic debt of their own. Unnecessary debt, taken on unnecessary debt. And debt on dealing with health issues. Not the person, the family. But there's no connection. There's a very karmic connection, but also there's, as, as, as the older the person grows, there's no connection with the family lineage. Because the lineage is very karmic. It's not some continuation. No, you were just born to pay a karma with the family. But especially in military combat, you know, police work, detective work, any kind of like a research, this is where they excel. In combat, they're very good. How to deal with like last minute negotiations, how to maneuver their way and, you know, taking somebody out. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Moon in the Sixth House for Gemini, Sun, and People. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. If you don't know where you're just uh, uh, Moon is placed, I'll give you the little details. I got the link here. Otherwise, we'll see you tonight or tomorrow with our Navamsha video. Bye-bye.